So last video we have discussed how can you write a SQL query to fetch the data from child object to parent object. This video we're gonna see how can you write a SQL query to fetch the data from parent to child means you're gonna write the query the form should be the parent object but the, your query should be able to fetch the child. Now here one thing you have to understand the thing is this if you go to schema builder yeah see one head office might have multiple outlets i mean one parent may have multiple outlets in the case of uh, the previous example the uh, child object will definitely have only one parent right? child will have only one parent but in this case the parent will have many childs so your soql query should be able to fetch the parent record like the head office details along with all its child data it can have one or many childs so your SQL query should be able to fetch the parent data, head office data, along with all its child data. Okay, so uh, let's just do it first with account and contact, and then we'll see for custom object also. Okay, in order to do it for the account and contact, the 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 query would be like this. Okay, select ID comma name from account. Pretty basics, right? It's just going to give you the name and ID of the account. Now, I want to fetch the account called, let's say there's an account I have created called SOQL test. That's the name of the account. Okay. Suppose this account has many childs. This account has many childs. So, uh, in order to write the child query, this is called child query. Okay. You have to do like this, comma. You have to write one more query for the child, which is select id comma name comma whatever field you want from contacts guess what contacts s okay is the name of the relationship field it's a standard object okay contacts is the name of the relationship field so if i click on execute now check this out first record name role hierarchy test has no contact data second record name edge communication has let me see how many data you have like one two it has many data okay you can't see all the records here but if i copy this id you know right how can i go to this account record i can copy this id here and i can go back to the record directly like i can i'll remove everything after force.com control v enter see this account name age communication has how many contact total two contacts okay if you click on view all yeah there are only two contacts and that is what it is showing you there edge communication has first contact which is i where the id is this name is rose second contact id is this name is not coming here get it so this is called child query okay so this is how you can write So this is how you can write a child query to fetch the child data from the parent pretty simple now uh, i mean next video we will see how to hold this data okay you want to hold this data in a variable you remember right we discussed about list yes so you have to take a list of account to hold this data okay so this is how you write the child query now let's go and see how can you write the same child query for the custom object because these are the only two scenarios okay one is how can you write the query to fetch the parent from child and next how to write a query to fetch the data from child from parent child to parent and then one for custom object one for custom uh, standard object right so whenever you write code these four things if you understand that's pretty much uh, it's going to help you in the apex coding because soql query is something we write a lot okay and these are the query we use very frequently in the apex coding cool so let me go and uh, show you the same thing for the custom object we have a custom object name head office so select id or my name from what do you think what should be the form head office head underscore office underscore underscore c that's the custom object name okay ideally the custom object name should be like this head if you give space it will be underscore office 
and then if you give nothing then it will be underscore underscore c cool if i click on execute this is going to give me all the head offices data that we have i have only one record so far in the head office object that is india head office now how can i go and fetch all the child record of this india head office by the way let me just copy this id okay and see how many child records we have here we enter oops i have to remove everything after force.com until we enter so now if you see here this india head office has total one two three outlets you get it this is something i'm going to fetch in the um, query so i'll go here write the child sokl query right how can you write the child query same select id comma name from what would be the form what would be the relationship name here any guess the relationship name here would be let me just show you something from where you'll be able to get the relationship field see if you go to this object call what is the custom object outlet if you go to the object call outlet let me just open it and show you outlet object has something called plural label right you remember right plural label which we use in the tab as the tab name as well so put outlet here and here is my outlet and this something called plural label this is the name of the relationship field so copy this go back to your query and put form this so the relationship field name should be your plural label which is uh, this copy this plural label and then you have to put something called underscore underscore r got it now let me just quickly run this query and see the output so this is what the output is right india head office has total three records and first record name is ae whatever second record is this third record is this got it so the confusion is is just what would be the relationship field name plural level underscore underscore r. this is how you write sql query to fetch the child data from the parent okay i hope this bo both the standard and custom object thing is pretty much clear what i'm going to do is now in the next video okay i'm going to show you how to write this query and hold it in a proper list variable got it see you in the next video